Before a single shovel hits the ground in Erie, there's an entire process happening underground. You've probably seen the colorful flags in your neighborhood, but what do they really mean? And how do crews know what's below the surface? Let's dig in. Before any digging, whether it's planting a tree or installing a new utility, contractors are required to call 811 and request what are called locates. Any kind of excavating, whether it's tree planting, directional boring, or uh, open trenching, uh, you are required as the excavator to call 811 or visit Colorado 811 online and request locates. But just marking lines isn't enough. To find the exact location and depth of underground utilities, crews perform what's called potholing or daylighting. They're required to verify the exact location, depth, and size of utility. This is a crucial step that must be taken to protect the underground utilities. And it's no surprise that crews sometimes hit something underground. That's because there's a lot down there, often packed into just a few feet of space. Most people don't realize just how crowded it is underground. In one small area, you might have water, sewer, gas, electric, internet, and even irrigation lines, sometimes all within just a few feet of each other. Those flags on the ground each represent something different, and knowing what's there helps keep crews safe and services running. Sometimes you'll see crews just waiting or standing by a small hole in the road. That's not a delay, it's all part of the process. When you see a crew just standing around or digging what looks like a small hole, there's a good chance they are potholing or waiting for the locate response. We can't move forward until we know exactly what is below us. From your water to your Wi-Fi, it all starts underground. Crews in Erie are working hard to protect it one careful dig at a time.